another episode of Friday Sews. This is my sewing vlog time where I just kind of chat and tell you everything that's going on in my life on the sewing side. But first, I guess I'll just talk about um, my upcoming video about my sewing room. Yes, you, I'm going to show you guys what my sewing room looks like behind the camera. In honor of Halloween, I'm going to post just a small little clip. Okay, don't get your hopes up. It's just going to be a small clip of my sewing room. Oops, sorry. It's going to be a small little clip of my sewing room from the before. And then next Wednesday, you're going to see a reveal and I'm going to give you a tour of my sewing room. So be excited for that. I feel like I should like hand out tickets or entry tickets or something like that. But all you have to do is just come back to my channel and patiently watch. Maybe you'll learn, maybe you'll learn how not to keep your sewing room. <laughs> I do have some good, I do have a few organizational things going on that I will show you. Okay, so thank you to everyone who watched my sewing uh, pattern haul on Wednesday. I think the majority of you were like, okay, do this one. This is McCall's 8241. So I'm gonna get started on this one. It looks pretty simple. So we'll see how that turns out. So I'm excited to get started on that. Another thing, um, oh, I also crocheted a hat for my daughter to go with her donut costume and she loves the hat. So how neat is that when you make something and the person you give it to just like completely adores it. So there she is in her hat. I don't have it with me right now because she wore it to I'm a donut, I'm Here is a crochet hat that I made her a couple of years ago. So it's kind of, you know, um, it's kind of aged just slightly. But I love these crochet critter hats. And then I also made me a cute hat. This right here is kind of fun and cute. I'll put it on so you can see. Oh, it matches what I'm wearing today. I can put a puffy thing on it if I wanted to, but I haven't done that at this time. I love crocheting because you can take it anywhere. Like you can go, um, you know, crochet on your couch. You don't have to be like stuck at a machine. So I do most of my sewing in the morning when nobody's awake. And then of course I like to spend time with my family, weird I know. <laughs> and so that's when I can do like some crocheting and stuff like that. So believe it or not, I did not get any sewing done this last week. We had a party for my little one and we uh, frosted cookies and cupcakes and that was a lot of fun. And she impressed me with her baking skills. Uh, and then also our washer broke and so I haven't been able to wash any of my fabrics to sew. I have a couple of things that I really want to get done um, but I and I contemplated sewing them before washing them but I'm like you know what I just need to be patient and wash them and then I'll start um, sewing them. Okay, I'm doing a Christmas sewing challenge. It's in the works still. So in the next few weeks, I'll be telling you about that. So kind of look forward to that. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on the sewing challenge. I think it's gonna be very festive and fun and just bring the sewing community together. So I didn't have any sewing makes for this week, but that's okay. Make sure that you put in the search bar on YouTube, hashtag Friday Sews, and check out all the other sewing channels, and they're going to be showing their makes as well. And so I want to thank Jen from today in Jen's Sewing Room for putting together the hashtag Friday Sews. Make sure you go and check out her channel as well. And so until next time, happy sewing. Bye, guys. Music